Marissa Ng, Chief Executive Officer and Program Director of the Spark Group Asia. We realized that the hardest part of running a team and building a team was that a lot of departments were operating in silo. We also realized that because of the fast nature of how businesses run today, is that high quality conversations on improving productivity and connecting, building trust among one another was sorely missing. Henceforth, we designed a powerful and impactful program that over six months, the Resilient Leaders Group Coaching Program would empower managers to engage in a different manner with their own employees. And henceforth, here are a few uniqueness of the Resilient Leaders Group Coaching Program. Number one, it is a measurable program. When it's measurable, that means we actually take an assessment before we begin the program, and then we take another assessment called the engagement pulse at the end of the program. Number two, the uniqueness is that based on the pre-pulse, engagement pulse of your employees, we will build the six-month customized program to be able to fit the needs of your managers that are in our program. Don't just take our word for it. These are what our participants have to say. So actually, I struggle a lot with leadership as well. Sometimes I don't know what to do. Sometimes I don't know how to talk to people. Sometimes I also worry about a decision I'm making, whether it's right or wrong. And Marissa is there for me to help me and to help me understand myself and to know what to do. So I encourage uh, all of you to understand that leadership, don't always think that there are good leaders, bad leaders, but leadership comes from always practicing. You always have to practice to become a better leader and you need help. I need help, Marvin needs help, Mark needs help. We all need help. So don't hold it into yourself. Always come and talk to us and get our support because you guys are running the business every day. We are not there. If we just tell you what to do, but the reality on the ground is different, then the business cannot run. We really need you guys. So we need your support, but also we want you guys to let us know uh, when you need that support. Okay. So once again, I want to thank you guys. It is really important for me and I'm very grateful that you all completed this journey. Yeah, it's not easy to complete this journey and to commit yourself for over six months. So thank you very much and congratulations. Why you have gone through this program is because we think it's important, uh, important for the businesses that we run because we believe that this is a way uh, to run the business and that we will be successful eventually if we have people like you on board with an open-mindedness. Um, yeah, that's why I think it's important for a lot of us to go through this program. I joined as well CFP, CSM, TLM, an auto forward resilience, the old version and so on. And they were all very good trainings, don't take me wrong for that. But this training by far most has been the most resourceful training for me. I, I learned the most. And this is not because of the training itself. I believe it's because of the team we are. And because it was such a tailored training for us as a leadership team. And the, the progress we went through, um, the times we fell down, the times we helped each other to get up, um, it, it was an immense journey. And I, I very, very much enjoyed that journey with you guys. Um, as Ping mentioned earlier on as well, you guys are the backbone of, of Chloe. Um, without you guys, nothing will work. And um, being here together with you guys and going through that whole process, being more open towards each other, holding each other more accountable, um, I very, very much enjoyed that. And I hope you guys enjoyed it equally as well. So I just want to say a, a big, big thank you. And I'm looking forward for many more sessions, which we might do ourselves. I have learned throughout this five months journey. We, we, we encountered that, that problem is based on our comfortable off style. But the style we have learned into, uh, into this, this program, uh, either we want to practice or not. So when I practice, I see the difference and I experience uh, more better for myself and I, I don't have the higher level of stress. Uh, which make me happy to come to work 
and I don't feel burden to to work every day. Uh, for me, uh, it's a really great chance for me to join this program CFT RLGC. Is is give me a really new thing in leadership. Uh, the thing that I never heard before. Uh, previously, I know that uh, just step up from the comfort zone. But actually, we need to uh, expand it. A lot of new thing. A lot of new thing uh, to enhance my leadership skill in in security and also in the club uh, in the club team. And then I do trust the, this this uh, training because I can see there's really really big improvement uh, in my leader. Uh, at the first time, I know Mr. Mavi and Mr. Mark is really different after joining this thing. So I said, oh, maybe I can change too. So that's why I, I give really good effort and commitment to this program. I always have that manga that want to um, being a leader or want to lead the, the team members. But before that, I never had chance that go through this program. I just uh, have like my manager, but my manager is like on off, on off, on off. Change every time. It's changed already four or five times since I was uh, at Chloe. So uh, within this program, it's made me. I didn't even think that I need manager more <laughs> because I think uh, I can manage the team. <laughs> because before this, I only I will always ask Mark when that will I get the new manager. But I uh, but for now, I don't think that I need manager. <laughs> I just need a uh, team member uh, that support me and also a leader that can uh, bring that can help me go through this journey. Lah.